So hello everyone. So my name is Ryan and I'm an Army veteran and I suffer from PTSD. Um, so I'm here to kind of get over that using some humor. And I'm also a comedy virgin, so you are here to lose my virginity with me. <laughs> Hope you brought protection. <laughs> So uh, just like my real virginity, they've given me five minutes, but I could probably get it done in two. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the difference is this time when you laugh at me, I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> so, uh, you know, every now and then, the one thing I have to admit is when people come up to me and they thank me for my service, it, it really does mean a lot to me. And you know, every one of us, it does mean a lot. But none of us know how to respond. Because just saying thank you, we just, we feel so dismissive. So a buddy of mine taught me something. A buddy, a buddy of mine said, Ryan, next time someone thanks you for your service, you just say, you're worth it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are worth it, you're worth it. That table over there is shady as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, I'm not gonna sit here and talk about politics, but I do have a friend who's really, really left-leaning. Yeah, he lost his leg in an IED accident, so. <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, unfortunately, St. Max and he also left, lost his left arm, so left arm and left leg, they're both missing, but as the asshole friend I am, I like to remind him that he's all right. <laughs> So uh, one of the things that I use to help get over my PTSD is, is marijuana. Are there any weed smokers here? Round of applause. <laughs> my people. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the thing is, is I just, I want to live in a world that my anxiety is under control enough that, you know, I can walk to the store without getting high or, you know, go to my friend's house without getting high or eat a sleeve of Oreos. I mean, I still will, because <laughs> I'm a degenerate, but I just want to live in a world where I don't have to get high. And, uh, yeah. So also, this past Valentine's Day, I finally got my wife of 10 years. Um, yeah. I'm still alive, she hasn't killed me yet, but I got my wife of 10 years, finally, the gift that she's always wanted. I got her an orgasm. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't so much me. I bought her this thing called the magic wand. <laughs> Some people you heard of, have heard of it. But let me tell you, this thing, it lives up to its billing. But I'm warning, guys, if, if your wife doesn't have one, or wait a minute, if your wife doesn't have one, you need to purchase one. <laughs> But I'm going to give you a warning. There's about a 75% chance that she's just going to lock herself in the bedroom for the next three months. <laughs> she's going to be on a sexual hibernation. Like a, a vibernation. You're, you're not going to see her. But I'm telling you, it works. It's like a NASCAR pit stop. It's just like, you put it on there, zoop, zoop, 20 seconds later, done. <laughs> Really, like, first time in my life I have to race. Because if I don't finish before her, they shut the track and everyone's going home. <laughs> yeah. So the other day, though, you know, we, we started our, our frisky time. And, uh, yeah. So I go to grab the wand, and she's like, no, 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 not this time. I want to do it old school. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I don't think she remembers how bad I was. <laughs> that magic wand fried her brain. So again, it's like NASCAR, but this time the car's in the garage and I pop the hood open and I'm looking at it like, I'm not a fucking mechanic. <laughs> I'm looking around and I'm like, yeah, yeah that's an engine. Like, I don't know what you want me to do, so. You know, like, I'm playing around there and trying my best. I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> and 15 minutes goes by and mercis, mercifully, oh fuck, I fucked that one up. But finally, she fakes it. And I'm like, thank God. And I think she, she knows and I know that she faked it. But I look up at her and I'm just like, 
thank you. <laughs> and she looks at me with her loving eyes and says, you're worth it. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Thank you.